All right. On number 17 on your homework, we found determinants yesterday. 2 by 2 is real easy. You just cross multiply. 8 times 7 is 56. What operation always goes there? Minus. Very good. 6 times 5 is 30, so you get 26. Negative 6 times 10 is negative 60. Always minus. Negative 6 times 8 is a negative 48. That's a double negative. And you get negative 12. Three by three is a little bit more complicated. You take that first top number on the left three, put that here. Put the four numbers that are not in the same row or column as these four right here. Always minus goes there. Then you put your five, and then you put those four numbers right there. Then negative two, and then those four numbers. And then you do your individual determinant of each of those two by two, and you come up with the answer negative 135. Did y'all agree with that answer? Number 21, I got 124. Now, if zero is on the outside of it, do you have to do all that work inside? No, because anything times zero is what? Zero. Here, you're checking your work. Where's it at? Did you get 124? What'd you get on 22? You made a right decision telling me the truth right there. Because you said a random number. I was going to say, come up here and prove it. <laughs> When's your test tomorrow, Mr. Derrick? Oh, your test is tomorrow, I just told you. Never mind. Just remember. All right, 22. Negative 459. You do have a homework check before your test tomorrow. Are there any questions I had to set these problems up? Okay, I want you to practice number 24 and 25 on page 13 right now, and then we'll go, okay, do that 24 and 25 on page 13, and then we're going to make sure you understand how to do that. Thank you, did last night.
Y'all get negative 120 on that first one? If you need to check it, that's what I got right there. Seconds on the board, negative nine fifty two. Here, minus that minus a negative would be a double negative, so it makes it a positive. Are there any questions on those two? All right, let's look at page. 13, number 26. We want to find the inverse of the matrix. You have three of these tomorrow. Firstly, how do you know if it has an inverse? If your determinant is not what? Zero. Very good. So let's find our determinant. Three times two is six minus zero times zero is zero. So that is six. So you take your determinant, put one over the what you get. What do you do with these two numbers? You flip them. And what do you do with the other numbers? Change the signs, but can you change the signs of zero? No. So now, you just distribute that one six. Two times one six is one third. Zero times one six is zero, zero, and then one half. And that would be your answer. Let's look at 27. What's 2 times 2? 4 minus 3 times 3 is 9. So that gives me um, negative 5. So you take, you put 1 and then put the determinant in the denominator. Negative 1 fifth. What do you do with these two numbers? You do what? 
switch them and then do what with those two numbers? Change the signs. So now you're going to distribute that negative one-fifth. That's going to be negative two-fifths, three-fifths, three-fifths, and negative two-fifths. So when I, the significance of that, when I take this and multiply by this, I will get the identity matrix. Identity matrix we talked yesterday. Okay. Number 28. 3 times 1 is 3 minus 0. That gives me 3. I'm going to put 1 third. Change the position of these and change the signs of the other one. I'll do 29, 30, and 31. Like I said, you have no written homework if you're studying tonight. Y'all agree with number 29, 1, 6, negative 1, 7, negative 6, 7, so negative 1, 7? Y'all good with that? Okay. How about this one? 1 third, 2 third, negative 2 thirds, and negative 5, 6. Okay. Are y'all good on those? Let's do one more. Negative 5 times negative 8 is 40. Minus 9 times 4 is 36. That gives me 4. Put 1, 4. Swap these. Change the signs of the other. So negative 8 times 1 fourth would be negative 2, negative 1, negative 9 fourths, and negative 5 fourths. So your homework, just study. Just look over whatever you need to, okay? Wait now. Did I not swap something? Okay. I'm good. All right, get, let's get our semesters out and get back out. Let's just do a few of those. The more we do those, the less we have to stress about every day. Let's look at our last three. Let's look at 37, 38, and 39. Thank you, brother. All right, let's look at number 37. We have log base 2 of 3x minus 2 
minus log base 2 of x minus 5 equals 4. Okay, is log base 2 throughout the problem? No, so can you just ignore that? No, but you can't. We need to, remember, we want to get it down to one log. Okay, so we need to use our properties to condense it a little bit. So this would be log base 2 of 3x minus 2 over x minus 5 equals 4. Now that I have it down to one log, can I write that in exponential? Yes. 2 to the 4th equals 3x minus 2 over x minus 5. So that would be 16 equals 3x minus 2. Then I'm going to cross multiply. x equals 6. So remember, in logarithms, if you have one log present, then you just put an exponential. But if you have more than one log, you'll use your properties to condense it down and go from there. What type of problem is number 38? Exponential. You want to get your exponential part by itself. So the first thing I would do, what would you do? Divide by 3. Yep. Divide by 3. Now, exponential, you try to get your bases to be the same. Can I get the bases to be the same? Yes. And then I just say 2t minus 1 equals 2. t equals 3 halves. That's exponential. Can you get the bases to be the sign? Yes or no? No. So you're going to use logarithms to solve it. So I'm bring the x down. Take the log of both sides. So now I have log 14 divided by log of 1 fourth. And I get x equals negative 1.904. Let me look at your exam and see if there's any trickiness on it. Here's your exam. It's this page, oh, say what it wrong. Um, exponential rewrite. Good one, just like that. That's fine. That's fine. Because um um well, I don't tell the name. I tell how many students that are correct, and I recommend that's better or something. That part is pretty much, if you know what we just went over, you're good on that part. Y'all have a great day. Parker.
Yes. It will.